Welcome to our new video on Plant Kingdom. Once upon a time, in a beautiful garden, there were many different plants, each with their own unique characteristics. These plants were classified into different groups based on their characteristics, such as their shape, size, and color. One day, a group of curious animals set out on a journey to explore the garden and learn about the different ways of classifying the plants that live there. They met an old wise sparrow who was well versed in the subject of plant kingdom. The sparrow explained that all plants could be classified into different groups based on their characteristics. He told them that these groups were arranged in a hierarchical manner, with the most general group at the top and the most specific group at the bottom. He also mentioned that this system of classification was known as taxonomy. The animals were amazed to learn that there were so many different types of plants in the garden and each one had its own unique characteristics. The sparrow then took the animals on a tour of the garden, pointing out different plants and explaining how they were classified. They saw a rose and the sparrow explained that it belonged to the plant kingdom, the division Magnoliophyta, and the class Magnoliopsida. They also saw a fern and the sparrow explained that it belonged to the plant kingdom, the division Pteridophyta and the class Pteridopsida. The sparrow also showed them how different plants were classified into different groups such as algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms, and their characteristics that make them different from one another. As the animals journeyed further, the animals realized that the garden was a diverse place, filled with many different types of plants. They learned about the different ways of classifying plants into different groups based on their characteristics, and the importance of understanding the diversity of life in the garden. The sparrow, who was an expert in the subject of plant kingdom, had taught them about the different groups of plants and their characteristics. He also explained to them about the life cycles of plants and how it plays an important role in their reproduction. He taught them about how plants can have different life cycles, with either a dominant sporophyte or a dominant gametophyte phase. The sparrow explained that in some plants the sporophyte generation is dominant, which means that the plant's main life cycle is focused on producing spores, while in others the gametophyte generation is dominant, which means that the plant's main life cycle is focused on producing gametes. He also explained to them about the alternation of generations, which is a characteristic of some plants, where the sporophyte and gametophyte generations alternate during the life cycle of the plant. This helps in the reproduction of the plants, as the spores produced by the sporophyte generation develop into gametophytes, which in turn produce gametes for reproduction. As they bid farewell to the sparrow and returned home, the animals were filled with a sense of wonder and appreciation for the diversity of life in the garden, and the importance of understanding the different characteristics and classification of the plants and their life cycles and alternation of generations. This is a summary of the chapter Plant Kingdom from Class 11th NCERT Biology Book. It covers the importance of taxonomy and classification in understanding the diversity of plants and the different characteristics of different groups of plants like algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms and plant life cycles and alternation of generations. We hope you enjoyed our video on Plant Kingdom. We hope the story-based format helped you to understand the chapter better. If you have any questions or feedback, please reach out to us. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more exciting content.